Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Only cause you here. I'm gonna let that old roll. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. It's a unique hustle. Boss Talk. Yeah, we came from the struggle. Boss Talk. Say hey, man. For the hey, best. I'm gonna give one in. I'm gonna call you right back, okay? Rest. Boss Talk. Tell me who's just, hot, just who's not, who really on to top, who intro. got they on shop, the hustle don't stop, nope. same right. old shit, shit. grinding, you know ain't nothing changed one bit, it's a unique hustle, we done came up, bitch, yeah. name another podcast, high like this, cause E, he gon' swag it like me, he came from the bottom, he had it like me, he know how to hustle, he scurry out the streets, he got it you want it, he charging a fee, official Miss Jamaica, wait, roll a tape, she ain't never fake, she gon' be the one to really try to motivate, tell it to your face why the mother hoes hate, money Moses, he gon' be the the coldest. If you got a secret, he the one that's gonna expose it. If you wanna laugh, he the one to keep you rolling. He gonna keep you rolling like a motherfucker bowling. And they be going hard on the interviews. Yeah. With XO music on the interlude. XO music on the interlude. Yeah, we blowing up like an inner tube. Man, hold up, man. Check it, check it, check it, check it, man. It's your boy ECO and I'm here with Miss Jamaica. What's going on, man? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad walk on. Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now and go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us. It'll pop up. But if you want to see all our visuals, you have to hop on over to our YouTube channel. There you can find all of our exclusive content as well. I know that y'all subscribe. Some of y'all say you subscribe. But we would love to have your membership because when y'all see us on the streets, y'all be like, we love what you're doing. Keep pushing. How can we support a brand? Well, this is how you can support a brand. On the each and every video that we do, in the description section below, there is a link that says join membership. Click that link, takes you through the process, join the membership. Thank you in advance, and we love you. Hey, man, listen, man, y'all heard the intro, man. I let it go a little longer today for a very special reason, man. My girl is in the building, man. She a part of the show. If you ever look on the banners, you see her on the banners. It, what we doing, she always with us. Even if she ain't on the set, she on the set. Check it, man. XO Music is in the building. XO, what it do? What's up, man? man XO, oh listen, God. man. XO is the one who did this song that we listen to. I know we got a lot of new subscribers, but XO Music, if you ever go on our front page and you look at the front page you of, see our the, of our YouTube channel, you see her, the, her video pop up is our, interv our, our intro, in, intro uh, video. video. And yeah, it probably got, it's close to 20,000 uh, views on uh -huh. it. Just Man, and that's the cold part about it. We all Always represent to the fullest and she is family and she is here and we just talking and chopping it up man just reminiscing this we gonna ride a little bit go back a little bit talk about some things you know what i'm saying how you doing man say i'm hanging in there i'm good y'all good oh yeah we good ah there you go Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, we good man like That's like good. i said we we like i said we how we been doing how's boss talk going Ah, oh, it's going on. <laughs> going on, man. It was bad. No, I remember you thought I was crazy. I know you did. You know what I'm saying? I was in there going crazy about boss talk, telling you, man, got to do this, got to do that. We got to do this. This thing is going crazy. And we didn't have about three subscribers to this. <laughs> going on. You did. No, we didn't even have a spot, really. Just we had, of course, we've been here, but. This was, you know, you did a video shoot in here. This was not, Man, I'm this was not what was that was. No. White wall. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> So, man, now that you see it the way it done turned out, man, sometimes God give you a vision and you just have to, you know, you just have to, you have to do what you got to do to make sure you follow through with the vision you're giving, right? You definitely mm -hmm. ran with it. Man, I had to. You like I said, it, it, I'm a hustler. You, you said it in the music. It's in the song. Yeah. Man, say, you're a straight hustler. You can hustle anything, man. That's crazy, I never right? forget how you was at that mall. Oh, damn. I forgot about that. She thought I was crazy. She said, what is this nigga doing? She said, you really out here talking to these niggas like this? You don't know these people. I think I was stopping every car coming. Every car that was coming through. Y'all need to subscribe by. to Boss Talk. Give me your subscribe phone. Subscribe to Boss Give Talk. Give me your phone. Let's Boss Talk. <laughs> now you following <laughs> And we still do what they do. We still the do the same thing now. Time. I wish I had that. That's crazy, right? <laughs> I need to check. Give so me a if, if a nigga see you, like, 
Boss told you gonna be like they, they got it out the mud. <laughs> you seen it, right? Like that's crazy though. What you think about that? Mm-hmm. That's just who we are. That's, that's all dope. it is. The that's hustle dope. real. That's the that's, hustle real. That's how you hustle, it's a man. what? It's a unique, it's a unique hustle, hustle, man. It's, that's crazy. Yeah. Man, I was thinking about how I left my books when I got over here. I was like, God, I don't know how to promote. <laughs> you love your books. You got to always have them with you. I got two books now. What's the name of them? Awesome. Yes. I ha- um, The first one is XL Music Book of Poetry. It's on Amazon. And the second one is 10 Things Women Need to Work On When It Comes to Men. It's like a, a t- top 10 countdown, self-help wow. tips, things like that. Wow. What inspired you to do these books? Books because um, the first one is poetry because I love poetry. That's why I started it. Poetry because I'm just a natural just writer, period. So poetry, I had so many like flows that I didn't really put in songs because, you know, rap is just poetry. So I just finished them off and made them poems and I want to do something with that. Wow. You know, so I just did. Wow. And is it self-published? Yeah, yeah. I did okay. You did all mm-hmm. by yourself. Okay, mm-hmm. so with the second book, um, trying to educate women, what motivates you to do that? You know, I got a little old some some I do. Um, it was every night uh-huh. going to bed with EXO. Uh-huh. Um, now it's Wednesday and Sunday because it, it was too much. Every night was too much, and so that's what I. But well, you I had a lot about. of people. <laughs> you had a lot of people watching. I don't care. It was too much. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. Though I do, but um, that's all I talk about is men and women, mm-hmm. and so. I talk to a lot of men and I learn about what men be going through with women and I be trying to tell women like where they coming from and they don't never care. Really? Oh, dang. Y'all, y'all, y'all want men and men, y'all want women and men don't understand women and women don't understand men. Uh, give so me my, an example. So my next book is Dear Men. Dear Men. <laughs> so give me an example wow. of something that you feel like um, men don't get women on and women don't get men on. Man, just everything. No, give me even one example. Se- even sex, you know what I'm saying? Men, um, the way they um want sex and desire for it and women. 24 7. Women be. Uh, what do you mean? 24 <laughs> 7. <laughs> the women be turning it down or men, women get mad and say, well, I ain't giving you none. Well, they take it away because they know this way you want the most. You know that, you know, mm-hmm. so. And a lot of women say, well, I don't take it away. I mess with him if I'm mad. I'm like, dang, that's. That's powerful. That's, that's, bad that's too, powerful though. <laughs> she mm-hmm. was like, uh-uh. I do it if I'm mad. I'm like, you, you a beast. You a beast. And it's, when a man is mad, what do they take away from us? Uh, money. <laughs> money. Uh, any kind I of perks. I guess I ain't been mad in 20 years. Perks. They ain't never took no money from you. Any type of perks. In attention, my life. Attention. His time. He'll just leave the house. Go, go, I go, go for some hours. <laughs> oh, boy, this is what I love, man. Men and women talk, man. Hey, I love it. We be talking on there, like, really getting to it. It gets ugly. Good. It get pretty. It get funny. And where, get where can they find this at? On my XO Music page. XO on Facebook. M-U-Z-I-K. On Facebook. On Facebook. I want to switch. You can't do that on, you can't do it on um, Instagram? Go yes, Instagram I want to switch so bad because I know it'll You don't have to better. switch. Can't you have, okay, do you have two phones? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, one phone be on sign in on Instagram yeah. and the other one, you film it one time. Oh, my mama, I need to do that. So, like, you don't <clears> have to do it twice. You don't have to worry about switching. Multiple platforms is always booming. Dang, I need to do that. And then I try to stream your, but I had to go to my laptop. And, and then do a YouTube, I too. Get another this. phone and put it or put or get your laptop and have that one signed into your YouTube. So, you have Dang. three three of them going at the same time. Man, wow. yeah, I don't got it popping like that. It's crazy. Like nine man. cameras around this. Oh, it's going down going too. That's on. a new one. That thing for the hit you hard. Man, I see that. Um, did you that? see? You see they criticizing Beyonce for of doing country music. Oh man, you an artist. You got to be well rounded. You better. Why they mad at her? Man, she better go uh, trail ride music, uh, country, with gospel, all I mean, that. Hey man, everything. Hey, it's your legacy. When you gone, you gone. So you, might well touch, you might well you might well touch everything. Man, if you can touch it if, all. If this is allowed, hey, can let me do it. You wanna do it me? Yeah, I do it. What can I do? <laughs> how we do it. <laughs> I don't know how to like, show me how to what's the best way to do it. That's all yes. I agree though. Blues, you, do a blues song, girl. If you everything. Can. I don't care. Leave your legacy behind because once it's over, it's you over. wanna know what you're gonna be remembered by. Wow. Because I'm throwing my family their first reunion and I'm like Let's learn the family. Who your mama? Who was my mama's mama's mama? And they like, 
I ain't, I'm like, you got a picture? No, I'm like, what did they do? We don't know. We don't, I'm like, man, this is not cool, man. Like, one man, the grandpa of the family, no photos. Mm. Nowhere, nobody's house, the elders, cousin, nobody got it. I got to ask you, and you know, I always asked about, you know, <clears throat> Mama West, Pimp C Mama. What, yeah. what, did, what, did she, what did she say to you that stuck with you? Man, that was a gangster woman. That woman cussed me out. <laughs> in the nicest way <laughs> she was just telling me so many stories about um him and her being on the road and behind the scenes on it shows but what stood out to me is was about when she told me that she went to his grave and told him he never done a song with a female artist and she was like i found that bitch i'm talking about i had to say that because that's what she said really yeah i found that bitch and that was she you. went me. to the grave me. she went wow. to the grave saying yeah. I, I didn't know that i found that bitch that you could do. I was like, oh man. And she was like, don't move. Don't move. Let's work together. I was like, I'm sorry. I already got the apartment. I, wow. I was gone to Atlanta. I That's moved cold. to Georgia. She said, don't move. Why you didn't call me? I don't know why the hell you did. I was like, I didn't know to call you. Wow. She loved, she loved working. She loved oh, that you. was dope. She, she said, I didn't know you needed to know. I did, I well, how did you end up meeting Do you wish that My you, cousin. did you, do you wish that you didn't move and that you did it? I wish we could have still worked together because Atlanta was a better move for me because I reached my peak here because you only could go so far here. Mm -hmm. You know, Atlanta, I wanted to be a a small fish in a big pond instead of a big fish in a small oh, pond. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So let me go do that. You know what I did here, there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And how did you meet her again? Uh, Day Day, my cousin. Wow, he knew her or he mm -hmm. had, and he took you to meet her. He gave us, the, the, he swapped the phone numbers and we talked okay. on the phone. Yep. I yeah. met her at a, um, a DJ conference in Tyler. Wow. And so she I came to Tyler. Another, yeah, I saw her at another event like that somewhere. And How his son feel? was performing. How did it feel to get the, the, the respect from her like that? It was shocking because I'm like, you, every, really, anytime somebody meet me and I be like, well, I'm EXO. I know you. Like, Don't they do that? You, know you know like, what? You know me, right? Like, how the hell? It be like, you really like me like that. You know me? Yeah. She like, yeah. I think it's because she saw me perform at that DJ conference. And yeah. seeing me perform is a whole nother beast. beast so, yeah. yeah. She liked that. Yeah, she did. She was impressed. Wow. What did you, I know you seen the other week, your name came up on the show oh, when I was I was talking about different uh I, I think it was was it I think it was Rainwater I was talking yeah. to about Straight Screen recorded that. I did. What what was the, <laughs> what, what what did you think when cuz I always throw your name in the pot and and I always cuz I feel like you you know a lyrical beast. I feel like you uh, and I know you very humble, but it's just like I never forget like like the stuff that I done seen you do with the music and with the bars and and it's like what do you Pretty much, what did you think when you seen your name popped up? <laughs> I'm like, ego, put me in the line of fire. Oh, man. Because I think it was uh, a South Dallas Kiki and Nina Loretta been going back and forth. Yeah. And say they talking about how hard they is, nigga. Don't forget about EXO, I nigga. I know, ego. Talking get our ass in there. I, I say EXO. Who's EXO? Oh, she hard. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I see the one. Oh, oh. And I think Sco was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She hard. I think Sco said that. And I think yeah, Rain was like, he did. I was what like, did Rain what say? Doing? know me he was he, he done said, heard joe he, man that nigga hear you on here all the time oh word what? i was like he he, put some he watched boss talk he, he watched boss talk Sco it. support me that. when i call him to be co-host and everything so he knows what i'm dealing with over here so he shout out to him yeah. cause he gave man, me Chris my props chris go gave you yeah yeah, yeah shout out to Sco, Sco gang you Sco gang then yeah. you know you gotta, have you seen his show no you gotta look him up he That's got Sco gang at night go at night it go crazy okay and then like Skull Gang. Oh, it's on YouTube. On YouTube. Going at 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. you're going to see it going down. Shut up. What? It's going to be about 1,000, maybe 2,000, sometimes 10,000. Hell, they, people pull up and watch his show. You need I to check. need to get on So that. for him to shout you out, that was big, that was too. Big. So you did I was like, man, she don't know this Skull. This my boy. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah, yeah. That I was hard. I appreciate him now, though. That was big. <laughs> I done done so. so it so feel good when people will recognize, recognize you. Recognize you. So what did, what, did, what, did, what did you think about? about that whole conversation. <laughs> you were I, like, I ain't even really just been rapping like that. I, 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 I know I, you haven't been doing it. I'm like, I'm getting out of here. So I'm your <laughs> I said, he gonna bring me out. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> so what was it? What did you think? Man, you, just, you know, I heard what he said. I heard what Rainwater said. Like uh, It wasn't bad, though, was it? I can't remember. What did he say? Yeah, it was bad. It was bad? What did he say? Kind of bad. Nah, what did he say? Like, that nigga crazy. He, said, uh, he might have said something. He, he said, just called uh, me a while ago. He music ain't fucking with South Dallas, Kiki. You that know what, what he saying? said? He said, I ain't fucking with it. And what like, I say, nigga, please. <laughs> you said nigga, that please. Nigga, please. You got that. Nah, you know, I'm going to throw that. I'm 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 crazy. You aggressive. What? Yeah. Nah, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like nobody, I'm you're not, not just gonna, not gonna blow me out the water or nothing, no, nothing musically, you know? You ain't so trying to hear that. Nobody, she gonna be the best South Dallas Kiki. I'm the best EXO music. So, you know, we. I don't even put myself in there like that anyway. So, yeah, she can have that. I ain't, I'm just, you know, I'm a, I'm a creator. Yeah. You know, I create art. Yeah, you period. always have. I'm all around, so ain't no messing with that. I got I tap on too many ends when it comes to my pen. I can't. Wow, Nina Loretta, she came on here and she said that she was a poet before as well. So you, yeah. she's a writer as she's well. I done wrote a movie. I done wrote a play. I write. I really write. You really do that? Yeah, I write books. Like I'm talking about. I'm in school. I write essays. But I'm gonna see right. You don't really write. You don't use AI. That's so crazy because you write, you do poetry and all of that, but in school you're studying psychology. It's like counseling and psychology. Counseling, how comes you did that instead of something that has to do with writing? I don't need nothing to do with writing. <laughs> I know how to write. I don't need nothing. They gonna make you write anyway. That's right. That's so true. That's all assignment says. We got another writing assignment. Everybody like, ah. I'm like, shoot, that's the best assignment we got. Do you, um, when are you going to be done with, with May? May, you graduate and Bachelors. have your... Wow. Yes, are you going back for your master's? Yes, I want it. I Girl. Get it. I want it. I want to be highly are you educated. Gonna, but are you going to open your own practice? I don't know if I want to start like that. But Why? I do want to end like that because I want to jump on in there. But so you want to work I, under I somebody first. Yeah, I can't say that because I like being free. You know what I'm saying? Because I do the little podcast and I do interviews. Right, and you I haven't been diary. working for nobody, nobody for a long time. For a long time. You know, self-employed with the home daycare. Right, my daughter so. running her own thing because we used to just, you know. I you know, know, so it's going to be hard that. for you to work for somebody. Yeah, as soon as they go to China, confide me and tell me what I can and can't do on my app. I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I say that, but I can't hold myself to that because I really want to really cup counsel couples right. on a council. Couples. Why did you choose that couple to get counsel. into? Right, couples. Yes. Uh, man, I I feel like they don't be hearing themselves when they talk to each other. And then I was married, and I feel like somebody else could have helped. With you said the you media. were married. Yeah. Okay. With I media. don't remember if I knew that you were married. For real? Yeah. How long were you married for? Five years. We was together Five. nine years. Okay. My kids, dad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know you all were together, but I didn't know you were actually married. Yeah, we got actually divorced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you divorced. felt so so you wanted to go off in this because when you're looking back on your relationship and your life, you you see where both of y'all needed the help. Mediator. Mediator. A mediator. I would love to be a mediator because couples do not hear each other. They don't. Men don't understand women and women don't understand men. That's why they wrote the book, Men, men Are From Mars. Venus and, and Mars. Venus and Mars. Like, yeah. Right. And I don't know if that'll ever change, but it's just you have to come to a compromise and learn how to understand. You might not understand fully, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you can... Well, let me go and get in there. Oh no! Um, don't get in there. The one man. thing I can say, and this ain't gonna be, it, it ain't gonna hurt. Because do you understand it me? Fully? It ain't gonna hurt. Long. <laughs> you, do, you do you understand me? Do you understand me fully? Can you let me uh -oh. talk? Don't answer that. All, I, all I'm gonna say is, when I go in my house, uh -oh. and I go through the hallway, and I go in the bathroom, and I look in the mirror, uh -oh. and I can see behind me. That my wife is has inscripted on in big words on the wall, with God all things are possible, and I think that's what we have to rely on. Put in a relationship. If you don't, you won't ever believe. And another thing I said to start with, I was just telling a guy because about my book with the self help tips. He was like, "Yeah, for a woman." I said, "But hold on, before you even need to read and get any tips." You got to just be a good person just overall. Mm -hmm. The foundation of who you are just got to be solid first. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? You just got to be a good person. You trying to force this woman to be, she's not even a good person. She's not even healed. She's not this. She's not ready. And not even just that. Um, people on a whole, what they overlook. And when I, the reason why I say people on a whole, because it doesn't always just do with relationships. It does with life period. Um, they don't look at the person as in like, okay, what have you been through in your life? Try to search and see the reason why you are how you are, what triggered this, and try to like go back. And not always just do that with them. Everybody have their own issues. It's so just, first yeah. you have to talk to the person and say, okay, I just look back on my life and this is what, you can't attack them first. You have to attack yourself first and be like, okay, this is what I found out about me and this is the reason why I do what I do. Yeah. So can you help me fix this? And by that happening, that would also have that person possibly looking at their life and trying to do the same thing. But see, that's the, the gotcha gotcha. Does somebody even want to do something like that? Because don't nobody think nothing's wrong with them. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I'm talking to them, I really be talking over a lot of people's head. And I feel like, like I just heard Charleston White say, he was like, when I was doing stuff the right way and the nice way, nobody knew me and nobody listened to me. And it's like, if you, you know, you be so educated, you get your PhD and then all this old psychology. You can't even talk to these people that way. You got to talk to them. Like how he said, I had to dummy myself down, go to cussing and acting crazy. Now you listening. So now I got to shoot it to you so straight hood. And now you can connect with what I'm saying. But it depends on who you're dealing with because everybody you deal with is different. Yep. So you gotta that is a plus language. that you can, you know, be versatile, be versatile. Yeah. And you can talk that way to a person because some of these professionals don't know how to get. Nope, they can't connect. That, with them. They can't connect. <laughs> so the main fact that once the person comes in or even come to you to talk to you, you start to feel them feel out. Them out. To figure out, okay, how can I get through to this That's person? That's the best way I can. But a lot of people listen to strangers quicker than they listen to family members or even the person that they're in a relationship with anyway. Yeah, because you can't even trust the whatever. You got to be careful who feeds you. You know what I'm saying? So when you don't even trust the feeder, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to listen anyway because, mm -hmm. like, who you talking to? How you going to? You don't know me. You don't yeah. know my life. You don't know what I've been through. Y'all just heard it. What's the name of your show again? Going to bed with EXO. Going to bed with EXO. Y'all just got a big whiff of it right then. That's, that's how they. That's how I that, do. That's counseling, yeah, man. Go. How many creeps do you get? Because even just the name, going to bed with EXO. <laughs> the first time, the first time I heard that, I'm like, dang, you probably get a lot of creeps. <laughs> Be like, man, show me this, show me that. What can I come? You know what I mean? Oh, you talking about? Do they be that direct? Yeah. Uh, guys are always try to be slick. They they will always try to be slick instead of so direct. I've gotten the pictures of the genitals. <laughs> mm. And do you be in lingerie when you're talking to these people? I have been some of everything. See, so that <laughs> by itself is going to make them, yeah. they, they might not even hear one word you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at what they can see. Oh, man, say, and I'm giving it to them just because I know that's what they want to look at mm -hmm. because that's what keep people engaged, especially at midnight and it's late. It's Ooh, going to bed. Me, that's the only fans saying. right there, y'all. It do be looking like the only fans, <laughs> Because I keep the camera right you on my thighs start, when I'm in bed. You should start yeah. your OnlyFans and do man, your counseling over there. Man, they keep saying that. <laughs> because then, of course, you're going to get paid because you're not getting paid from what you're doing right now. Mm -mm, you start OnlyFans and set it up, you you might get some change coming. Now, it's not like you're going to show them nothing that's out of character. We don't know where but, it might go. We don't know where it might go. <laughs> where it go, you man. Know, I be but tripping. You can, you, can, you can counsel people over there and save a I lot of people. Oh, she got some counsel for counsel. you. I got some counsel for you. Shut I, I would love to counsel people. Though. Shut <laughs> up. Anyway, I can help. <laughs> man, check it, man. We finna get into it, man. Um, thank you for coming over, man. We finna oh, get. Yeah. I, I gotta get some bars out of you. Yeah, Anytime I can't wait. You come for on, Ball yes. Star One Hundred and One, and I'm, I'm. Let me, let me get my, let me get going. You know how I, how I be. You know how I do it. Doom, doom, doom. Can you hear loud and clear on the on the uh the headphones? Can you hear clearly? Yeah. Okay, just check. I hear y'all talking. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's you. Yeah, man. I was just trying to bring it all the way down, calm it down. It's totally different. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Boss Talk 101.
I'm coming home like kids when the street lights on. I'm coming home like veterans. It's been too long. Mama, I know I've been out here all out of pocket. But ever since my brother died, I just don't know how to stop it. I came to speak. I know I got a reason for breathing. I came to sprinkle that season. I'm just a regular heathen from a city full of hood niggas, bums, and wretches. If you don't tuck your chain in, they gon' come and snatch it. Debo ass niggas. Oh, Nemo ass niggas. Next time I come home, I won't see your ass nigga. If anybody know me, they know I ain't finna stick around. When they passing dick around, I ain't even getting down. Never gave a fuck about the money or nothing. I never made it at the LB cause I wasn't fucking them coming home put me on the first line before I fuck one of these niggas I serve time and you don't know me but when you see me take a pic cause I'm the last of a dying breed can't let them forget huh, beast mode popping it name a nigga stopping in them XO music I get a beat and gobble it they diss me they slip they don't know how I felt but I come up I retirement and still take the belt that's queen shit Elsa a leader a stepper and if I gotta teach them I teach them professor you say you real, show me that You owe me, some nigga throw me that You really my nigga, don't hate on me Don't get in my way, don't hold me back These ho be hating hard In your face like they squad Fucking on your nigga whole time Oh lord, but I never let nothing get me You real nigga, then fuck with me After the club, I'm going home Ain't taking none of these sluts with me He told me to come get him Oh shit, nigga, say less The queen of the booth and boss talk They gonna hate this Man, Ooh, stop playing, man That Listen is a little sauce. hard Big so music, man Girl. My dog She just giving y'all a little sauce man. I really, she really don't even do this like this. We trying to, hey, I be trying, true. she be trying to calm Girl. it down. I'm trying to tell hey, you. To <laughs> even with the calming down, it's still lethal. Oh. That's the crazy thing about it. It's still oh, lethal. I told her, I was like, say, she's man. Talking about, I, I, I didn't know what to expect because she said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be so rah-rah and whatever, not. but then... This her this words. <laughs> I'm sitting down here hanging on to every word she's every saying. Word. I'm really listening to it. And I'm like, she's still going hard with that's, it. That's still going to light music, your ass yes. up. Yes. <laughs> came out of retirement. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, she's just chilling. She ain't even <laughs> Man. Hey, Man. It's just, it's, just it's, it's in you. You know, it got to be in you. You know what I mean? It ain't on me. Man. Yeah, that's right. I think and that's the part right there. You know what I'm saying? And you know what the craziest thing is? You know, you know like how you said like here. Your pen game is great and you could write for other people. But the whole time when you're rapping, I'm thinking, yeah, you can write for other people, but who going to deliver it like you? Yeah. Man, <laughs> say that. You know I like her. Who going to deliver it Can't like nobody, you? And I done tried to do that before. And the way they said it, I'm like, no, you're messing it up. It's like for you to write, you have to like you write say for it. somebody. And I got to be there. No, you have to, no, you have to like say you know the person and know how they rap. Yeah. And you have to write with their voice in your head uh, yeah. and write for them. Yeah. You can't write like how you writing for yourself. Yeah. For somebody but else. But I got to be at the studio when they do it so I can say no. T delete, redo it, say it like this. Really what y'all saying is harder to really get somebody to, you really like delegating off this this whole thing that you mm -hmm. this project you've created your you 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 wrote the vision you making it plain but then you made it plain to you now you got to convince somebody else to have that same passion and delivery right. that you that you want that would want that to be but a lot of writers like you know like, i don't know if Lil ronnie's in ever in all the booths when they're doing it i know he was in some of the booths but when you're writing for other people you write it and just send it to them i don't know if you're always there so they gonna make it their own yeah, they got to make it their own. Though. Right. You're right. They got to sound like them. They can't sound like, like somebody, somebody else. else. Yeah. Right. You wow. be like, dang, it sound like XO real thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm passionate, so, though. So what I want to do, XO, so, so XO, um, th this was the first quarter. I meant for you to feel me. Listen I'm like, oh, you always listen, do that. Dang. The first quarter. What's up? This is the first quarter. What you need? Second quarter, end of the quarter. That'll be April, May, June. Come back and do it. Give us another, you know, a little bit of some, just you know, some real nice. And then the next quarter, we're gonna do it each quarter. You want me to come do this again? Each quarter, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because we really just riding. Y'all you know the only one I do this. Not, I, I, think, I just wrote two songs for my grandma. I didn't show y'all. Uh -uh. Oh my god! Now, I, think, I, I, I came think, my retirement for my grandma oh, and wrecked it. I, I, I really? just want to. Yeah. I just want to. You know, keep. You know, we we we, we just want to keep the whole. 
EXO music thing, you know, it's ours. We, oh, you know what I'm saying? We, just, so we fly with it. You know what I'm saying? It's boss talk. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard to get because I don't record, you know, write, record for nobody. No, we so. just chilling. When it's they exclusive. See me it's here, exclusive. It's like, hey, that she go rap. Yeah, it's exclusive. <laughs> but why you stop? Why you stop doing music? Like Man, that? the music business, I was just over there thinking, I want them, to, if they ask me that, I know exactly what I'm going to well, say. Well, like, why? <laughs> what she just said. Why? No, I'm asking. You well, because I want you to, why be, you stop doing music? Because you know, at the LB, you know, because LB was my manager, my husband, everything, and he was driven and he was into it. I was the homemaker and just a great artist, mm-hmm. and so he got into me, quit rapping, he got into me, and he took it off. He took it, and we divorced. And so now it's on me. And so now um, I know how to put that shit on and go step out. And now you meeting guys and Abby ain't there to stop a block or nothing. And what? Man, say, you don't want no so part of them crazy. sharks out it's there. Crazy, you don't want it? no parts of them sharks. Like, I did some, you know, I did the track with B-King without LB. I did a lot of whole part of the movement that LB that you would think he was still in it and he mm-hmm. wasn't in it still. But it's just so much to come with it that you got to you gotta go low. You gotta go low, but you, know you got. But saying? there's a lot of females out of here doing it by themselves. So but you, you feel for them, don't but you? But it's me. <laughs> this me we you, because he has so you many so people, long. It's so many people that wanted me for so many years, mm-hmm. and they finally got a chance to get close to me without him around. Mm-hmm. And then Cash came in my life, and so then Cash was around. And so it was a guy around, and then Cash is not around, and now I'm around by myself. But at the same time, without that, like, I was going to say, I was thinking over there, like, what are we running to in this music industry? When you look at the majors and what's going on behind the scenes, what are we really chasing and running to? It's not, to me, it's not, so a lot of people are running to fame and fortune and stuff like that. But for you, I'm looking at... I'm looking at the same thing I said earlier is that we need to leave a stamp, meaning like visuals. Visuals is something, or audio is something that you would end up leaving for your kids' kids. Meaning like when you leave your spoken words on a, on a rap song or whatever, because that's what it is, your grandkids, your great-grandkids going to listen back to it and be like, just like how you're talking about um, the family tree and all of that yeah. and who is my great-grandfather, yeah. whatever. All of that will be on social media or on out in the clouds or whatever, and My they can legacy. hear you. Your legacy, they My can legacy hear you. Is important to me, and I really don't want it to be so in I, that music that's the business. Reason. That but that's the, how, the way how you leave your words. That music business is ugly. It's, you make it what sex, it is. It's sex driven, and it's blackmail. It's it's a lot going on that you know. It sacrifices. It's the higher you go, the more you're gonna be into something you're gonna get into something you're gonna That's have to true. do something you're gonna have to sacrifice something. and i don't so want you, it you i just, always said i don't so, want it that so day. if i could be in if i was in this hypothetically speaking what would i hear if i could be in every studio that every female is in Man. tonight <clears throat> trying to get a session done <clears throat> trying to get on trying to get a session done DJs. trying to get on what would i hear I really can't say because it depends on the woman. It depends on how, crazy. how it attractive could, she is. It could get crazy. It depends on if you smoke. I don't smoke. I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hang out. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that in a flow that I never really released. But, you know, that's a part of not making it. Like, you're not, you're going to have to hang. Like, look at Megan Thee Stallion's journey. Like, you had to tap in. You had to get gay. You had to play ball. You know what I'm saying? Now you drinking, you you with him, and now you you with him, and then stuff go to coming out about you. I didn't want no parts of Turn it. Off first. Yeah, I didn't want no parts of it. Like, I I want to do music like you said, and for my legacy, I do want to make music about mental health and things like that. Like, I wouldn't mind doing it for me, mm-hmm. but don't try to drag me up into that. But that's industry, what I'm man. saying. Like, don't if you do if you do the music, and I'm it, with the thoughts in your mind to say that. I'm not doing this to get huge. I'm not hu- mm-hmm. doing this to get big. I can make enough money on this to to just live. But I'm really doing this to put my message out there. Just like how you're yeah. talking about your therapy and your books and yeah. stuff. You could put that therapy in your music, in music because some people won't take up a book, won't even listen to an audio book. It has to come with a melody and stuff like that for them to yeah. resonate with it. And you could put all of that in 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 your songs. 
And you're helping people. Yeah, I would love to, because I know a girl once told me that uh, she listened to one of my songs um, before she ran a track meet and it really got her. I, w- I want my son to talk somebody down exactly. off the ledge. Like, if you're about to commit suicide, I want to have a song that will stop you from doing that or, you know, help you get the strength to leave an abusive relationship. I want a song that will stop you, help you, you know, because my, you know, saying is save ourselves from ourselves, my nonprofit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I really want us to be able to have, you know, self-help, you know, mm-hmm. save yourself from anything, you, yeah. your demons. Because I so, like yeah. your growth. I like your growth because I saw when, you know, when we first started or, or even before that, because we've known you for a long time mm-hmm. and I've seen you mature. I've, I've the way how you speak about certain things. <laughs> Thank you. I'm loving the way in which you're going, yeah. but I don't feel like you should ever give up your music or you your spoken so? words. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> do everything that you're doing, but still give out some music. Some music. Yeah, you don't have to give it out every week, every month, every yeah. whatever. Or something. But put it out. Even if you want to say exclusively, you can put it out on your YouTube channel. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and do it and put it out there. Yeah. People are independent. Yeah, House of Hawk uh, out of Georgia. Shout out to them. He really be trying to keep me in the booth. I just did two EPs with him. And the music that I do with him is be beats he choose. It don't be like something I'm handpicking. Mm-hmm. So, but I, I give a little energy towards what I do with him. But what I want to do with myself is going to be something I want to handpick. Like the way he, when he asked me to come do this flow, I heard that beat that we just, I was like, that beat started talking to me and I started talking back to it. Because I was going to come with some little rah rah type. And then I was like, when I heard that one, it flowed out easier. Like, that's more me. Mm-hmm. You know you what I'm saying? What, you do what you... We yeah. love you regardless. Yeah. And then yeah. it had three speeds, and I was like, yeah, I yeah, told I my rock cousin Rock. Yeah. I was like, Rocky, I'm finna say, hey, I'm gonna click speeds on them. I'm finna show them, because I could do it. And everybody can't come up here. A lot of female artists Ooh. can't come up here. You know what I'm saying? They can't do what I do with that pen. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rappers. You know, I'm real creative. I'm an artist. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can go to some depths that you really can't, can't go. Hey. Listen, man, I want to say thank you, man. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? XO Music, everything. XO M U Z I K. I I am XO Music on TikTok because, you know, we gets it in on TikTok. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So uh, Instagram, Facebook, going to bed with XO. XO Music. With man. a Z and a K. Yeah, with go get the Z books. With a Z and a K. Go get them Amazon, books, man. You know hey, man, saying? listen, man. Make sure you guys check out these clips, man. Make sure you check out what's coming up next. It should be somewhere right here. But check it out. Um, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.